Hi and welcome to the 13th part in this tutorial series. Last video we did some basic animation. Uh, if you run this application now, you see that this rocket is moving. Okay, so this video we will create actually a player class and can actually uh, do some player input. So, um, begin by going to sprite.h and make the update function virtual. So, virtual void update. Okay, now create create a new file, uh, a new C++ file, and name this player sprite. Yeah, sorry for that. So name it player sprite. And then include sprite, obviously. So include sprite.h. And then make a class, so the class will be player sprite, which publicly inherits from sprite. Okay, so it won't have any private parts for now. It will have some public parts, namely, it will have a constructor, player sprite, and it will take two arguments, it shall unsigned integer for the oh damn for the vertex I'm sorry the texture buffer array the texture buffer ID sorry and the vector to for the position and also make a new update function so void update Okay, then uh, yeah, implement the file into your CPP. first implement the constructor so make the initialization list and we will initialize our base class so sprite with arguments texture buffer id and position so some basic C++ here you should know this then uh, the update method Oops. Yeah, make sure the void is before the player sprite. Double colon. Okay. Um, so GLW has this function called GLF get key. So um, essentially, we will create um, an if statement. So if GLF get key. And we will do glw underscore key up. So if that happens, then we want to uh, then in that case we want our position. So the underscore position to equal make vector two. Well, actually. Add vector two, and we want to add the original position with, and then or and then make vector two, and and if the the user presses up, then we want uh, save for now zero on the x. So zero, and on the y we want it to go up by zero one f. 
So something like this. And we're receiving an error here for some reason. Oh yes, um, yeah, I forgot that. Make sure to uh, go to your sprite.cpp, uh, your sprite.h, and make your protected. Protected space and make sure your position variable is in there. For now, yeah, for now that will be enough. Okay, so now it will work. Yeah, okay, and the error will be gone. Okay, so uh, now go to your game window.cpp class. Actually, first in your uh, dot in your game window dot h, uh, change the include sprite dot h to include player sprite dot h. Then your rocket will be player sprite. Now and then in your constructor, make sure it's a player sprite initialization. Then we don't need a velocity, so you can so you can comment that out and leave it as as it is now. If you need this. And press up. The rocket will be moving slightly up. Um, return to your player sprite and like well, make this maybe five. And yeah, that's better. Maybe even more, like nine. So zero and nine. Yes, that's now still. Now let's make it like one point five. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay, now, so we have at the moment only one key, and I won't type this out on camera, but I'll, I'll skip this part for you, so. So I type this out, and uh, so essentially we have now an if statement for the down, left and right button too. Uh, the, the down is just the opposite of the up, so minus 1.5. Uh, left is on the x-axis minus 1.5 and right is on the x-axis plus 1.5. Okay, so if, if we run this now, we can move our rocket any way we want to. Which is pretty cool, but there's one problem, uh, which we won't fix right now. But if you, you see, it goes off screen and this shouldn't really happen. So you should fix this. and. Go to that next video. Yeah, okay. So, see you then.